Okay. Hello everyone, welcome to um, this week's video. It's gonna be really chill because uh, my family moved this week, which is really exciting, but oh my God, I'm gonna talk about this, but moving is so awful. Um, they really should tell you. They really should tell you that moving is like the worst thing that you could possibly ever do. Cause then everyone would just stay put and that would be it. So yeah, so I just thought that we would chat because I'm so tired. <laughs> Um, it's Sunday and I'm usually like pretty good about filming my videos, but um, this one I just didn't plan it at all because um, what I really have to be doing today is um, unpacking and also like getting rid of things. So, so I, I have a system. It's foolproof. The things I'm donating are going on this side of the floor and the things I'm keeping are getting thrown to this side of the floor. So, um, yeah, welcome to this, this video. So like some of this, this stuff is so cute. Like I had this skirt, oh my gosh. I have this skirt from like Brandy Melville and I got it when I was like 14. It was my freshman year of high school. And I had <laughs> I had this friend and I was I was looking to, I was buying the skirt like at school, which it was like lunchtime or whatever. And she was like, ew, that skirt's so ugly. And um, this skirt, which is like the most popular skirt in the whole entire world um, in like 2015, 2016. So it was like so funny that like the next year, like she, they all owned that skirt, even though they thought it, said it was so ugly. So, um, you know, just goes to show you, just be yourself, okay? Be yourself, guys. Yeah, so with the process of moving. So my family put um, our house on the market in March, <laughs> right when the pandemic hit, it was super cute. Keeping that too. I have this fun, fun beanie hat that I only wear for like one weekend a year, but I should wear hats more often. Um, yeah, anyway, so my family, we, start, we started selling our house during the pandemic. Um, which was kind of a nightmare because when you're selling a house, like you have to make it look nice and it all has to be clean. And, um, you know, like the bathrooms and stuff have to be clean. So we were all using like one bathroom and, you know, every day it was like someone could call us and we had to, you know, clean everything up. Um, which everything was like pretty much clean, but you still have to like make it look pristine because people, you know, they want to buy our house. And that was just, oh my gosh, that was so much. And then the added on top of that of the pandemic is that people would call us like same day and everyone's working from home. And like I have online school, so we would like have to go and like sit in our cars because there's nowhere for us to go besides our cars. Oh my God, it was just, ooh, okay, that I'm gonna get rid of. Oh, and then when we finally got home, like people looking at our house, like sometimes they would only look for like 20 minutes so we'd have to leave the house. And um, at that point, like we were all worried that like you could get COVID from like touching things. So then we would like have to go through the house like after people came through it and like wipe everything down with Clorox. Like it was just, it was so much. So, but yes, yeah, so we sold our house. And if you never moved before, um, we lived in a house and all we had to sell like a bunch of furniture because we were downsizing. And oh my gosh, they, like so we had to have like a garage sale and then we had like a pod come, if you never know what those are. It's just like a truckload of stuff that you put somewhere like in a storage facility. So we had to like load that up, which took forever. And then like when we were moving, like it literally took like seven whole days or, or more, I don't even, maybe it wasn't that long. I don't know, it felt like an eternity. Um, Cause you have to like get every single bit of your house like in a box, but like you have so much like we have so much stuff. Like I didn't even realize how much stuff we had until you start moving. Like I feel like that's just anyone. Like you just start moving and you're like, why do I own this? You know? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this sweater so much. I got this sweater in Canada. It has a moose on it. Um, it's just like such a vibe. What else was I supposed to talk about? Oh yeah, so then we moved to a temporary apartment, which was, um, was tight. Cause all of us are home for the pandemic. Everyone's working from home. And we had like a desk in the living room in the kitchen. So like, you know, if someone was like on a phone call or for work or something like you had to like be in your room. It was just like doing this in the pandemic, like moving itself is already like just a task. <laughs> but like during the pandemic, it just like made everything just like, you know, you just, you have to get creative, I guess is what you would, one could say. Okay, so like when we're moving, I'm just gonna talk because I can't, I just can't. So when we were moving, when you are continuously like hauling piles of stuff, like you just get to this point where you're like, you know what, I'm gonna like get rid of every single thing I own and just become a min minimalist. I definitely wanna be more 
more conscious of it. Sometimes I find stuff in my closet. I'm like, I literally haven't worn this in two years. Why do I hold on to it? And I think a lot of times it's because it's like connected to, you know, like a memory is attached to it. Like, oh, I wore that here. But like, I also like some of this stuff like just doesn't fit anymore. And, or it's just like dated. And I want to be more aware of like what I'm purchasing and like how, how long I can hold on to an item. Because I think a lot of the times, like when you're shopping, like you're shopping for fun or just because, you know, it's something to do. And I think d during the pandemic, I've shopped, you know, a lot, a lot less. Um, but the only thing I really bought this year, like online is like work clothes. And like, I, I always find that in my closet, I always reach for like the same two or three items. Like literally you guys have seen me wear this exact sweater. Like I don't even know, like five times on this channel. It's because I wear it like all the, literally all the time. And I pretty much only wear like one pair of shoes. And like, I'm looking at all of these shoes, like I'm hauling from place to place. And I'm like, why do I even own these? Like, what's the purpose? Like, so that one day I can wear like a different white sneaker. Like I have white Converse and white Adidas. I haven't worn Converse in like three years because they're like, I love my Adidas and I just wear them because they're there. So it's like, why do I feel the need to hang on to that kind of stuff? I don't know. It's very, it's very strange. I think it's also just because of like guilt too. Like you're like, oh, I spent money on that. You know, I should keep it. You know, I probably bought them because they were like trendy, but then I got my Adidas. Like, I don't know. It's just always, it's always something. And I'm like, I'm trying to like be more aware of like what I'm buying before it's like already in my life because like when you move, it's just like, it's so apparent, like how much unnecessary stuff you have. And like, I'm sure that like in a week, you know, we all go back to habits. Like, I really like to work on that. Oh, I have bought one of these headbands. Um, I never wear it because I bought it like two weeks before the pandemic hit. And I just like, I love it. And I think it's so fab, but like, I don't have anywhere to wear it right now. I guess I could wear it to work, but no one even sees me at work and like, also, that's what I think it's, it is too. Like a lot of my closet is for like going out or like seeing people and like, I don't go, I don't do anything. Like I literally don't go anywhere. Like the most use I've gotten out of my clothes is when I'm filming YouTube videos, which like half the time in my YouTube videos, I'm wearing the same shirt. Okay. I know what I want to talk about. I'm sorry. This is just a box of chalk <laughs> and needles, chalk and needles. I really don't know how to explain this to anybody. Oh, there's beads in it too. Like, does anyone else just have like random boxes of like stuff? Like I need this though, you know, <laughs> I really do need that. Oh my God. This is a card that my friend sent me. We used to send each other cards in the mail our freshman year and she sent me, um, Oh, what is it? What's in here? She, Oh, she sent me some tea. Um, some, uh, her grocery list, um, her middle seventh grade ID and a bookmark. So, <laughs> If you ever like want to like spread some chaotic positivity to your friends, like send them a card full of random stuff. Hey, I I keep getting off track. So I was watching this video. Okay, this is what I was gonna talk about a minute ago. I was watching this video. Um, Matt D. Bella, he's huge on YouTube. He does like product productivity videos and like inspirational like you know, I don't know. Just go look him up. He has a really lot of um interesting topics. <laughs> That's another card full of stickers. It's good stuff. Um, and he made. <laughs> There's so many cards of stickers. <laughs> There's like five. Okay, I love this. But okay, I need to stop for a second so I can get this out. Um, so he he made this video where he wore the same shirt for like a year without telling anybody. And it was basically just to prove a point that like he bought 10 of his favorite t-shirts that like fit him really well. Like he loved the material, he was comfortable in them. Like he felt good in it, which like we all have those clothes where it's like when we just want to feel good about ourselves that we just like reach for it. And like, if you really think about your own wardrobe, I reach for the same five things, especially during a pandemic, like, um, but he made his video and like no one noticed pretty much that he was wearing the same shirt every day. And, um, like, I think part of that is because I don't want to like pull his card, but like, I think part of that is because he's a guy and, um, like, I think that if I wore the same, I don't know. I don't know if people would care. Like if I wore the same, which I've already done this because like I'm act, I, this is like a lot of the way that I live my life too, is like, 
I'm sorry, this, this is such an all over the place video. I really don't even know how to like make this cohesive um, because my brain is mush from this week. Um, oh, I should tell you about this week too because that was just like we moved and we started moving like five, six days ago. Um, we're still moving. <laughs> Today we were still moving stuff with our cars. Um, and today's Sunday. And, um, oh, but back to the t-shirt thing, because I think that, well, obviously, like, I've made, like, fashion videos on this channel, and, like, I love clothes. Like, I love getting it, to be able to express myself, like, in clothes. Like, that's just such a fun, like, part of life. Um, but also, like, there are some days where I'm like, I really just want to wear the same outfit. You know, I just know, I don't want to think about it. I also, I wore a uniform for 18 years, so I think that I don't know if it's like a product of wearing a uniform for that long, that it's just like, I don't really, it doesn't really, it's not a thought passing through my brain of like, I need to like wear a different outfit every single day of the week, like to get something done. And I don't know if that's because um, of my uniform experience, like I guess not being judged on your clothes for all those years, like that was also like a weird transition in college having to wear normal people clothes all year round. Um, I really didn't know what people wore to, which is sort of a weird thing to say, but like, like I really didn't know like what do people wear to high school? Like do you wear leggings and like sweaters or like jeans? I'm like, I figured it out, but um, that was definitely like a step where I was like, how casual or like dress up do I have to be? I also went to all girls high school. So like I did not, no one put in, you know, in effort to their appearance, um, which is another thing. Oh, back to the Matt Bella thing. I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted, but um, actually, did I already finish that up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, but yeah, so I definitely get to a point where I'm like, I just want to wear one t-shirt like Matt Bella like every single day of my life and not think about it because I've already done that for 18 years. Like, what's the difference? But I also love clothes and I love, you know, like putting together an outfit and I love shopping. Like, don't we all? But also like, I don't love stuff and I don't love like what it does to our planet. It's just like this very weird like cycle that you get in. And um, I definitely need to like, I think that it's, it's important to like talk about these kinds of things because it's definitely, it's so weird having a YouTube channel because um, a, a lot of the times I don't say my thoughts out loud um, I have a journal, but like I have literally, I don't put anything in it this year. Like I think there's like two pages um, <laughs> because I just couldn't, like nothing has happened in my life really. Um, okay, I sort of remember what I was gonna, what I was gonna say. <laughs> so I was talking about like having a journal and um, like, like saying my thoughts out loud. Um, and a lot of the times like I enjoyed journaling, especially in my, you know, when I was at college because putting the pen on paper just like allowed me to just like get my thoughts out. I'm definitely, I want to do like a video on like, I don't know, <laughs> productivity for like mess of mess people. Cause like my brain is such a mess. Like I, I don't, I'm like not, I'm like a very type B person. I don't know what type, type B for, for versus type A because like I'm a very clean person and I like everything to be like in its spot. But like, if you saw my backpack for school or my bag for work or like my calendar it or my notes, like you'd be like, who, what? Like, are you okay? Are you like genuinely, are you okay? Um, I have like no organizational skills, but like I'm very good at like my own system, if that makes any sense. So my journal is a mess. Like I have terrible handwriting. I just like get in there and I'm like feelings. Um, so. So Christmas is coming up. <laughs> I kind of wanted to talk about this because we, we put up our tree last night, um, which was exciting and fun, but it's also just like sad at the same time. Um, I was like, I was holding on hope like this whole time, like to get our Christmas tree because we've been waiting to move. So we finally got it last night, which is like super late for us. We love to get it like the first weekend of December, like right after Thanksgiving. Um, and I, was like kind of sad about it, but then we finally got our tree. And it's just sort of like sad because like the whole point of Christmas is that you get to see your family and your loved ones and you know, you all get together and like you're loud in a house and like you give each other stuff and it's just, it's just chaos and it's so fun. And it's just like, 
we also have like a really lovely Christmas like at my grandparents house and like they have like a, a real fire and they're just their house is so beautiful and I just I love seeing all of them and so it's just I don't know it's so sad that we're not gonna have like real Christmas this year um, and just every day like something new and scary seems to happen like now there's like this new strain in the UK and like everything's getting shut down again there and I don't know if we're gonna have another shutdown or what I am like I am so panicked about the pandemic like I really I have like so much anxiety about it and I I know that like everyone does but, like even if I go to the store and people get like too close to me like literally like my heart starts to pound like I get like so anxious and like I I know that other people you know feel that way I don't know especially now that the numbers are rising like I'm just it's a lot to think about this year um Sorry this video was just kind of like a, a brain dump, um, but it's just kind of fun to just get on here and talk, and it wasn't going to be like this big extravagant, extra I literally call my videos extravagant because they're just such a mess anyway. Um, but you know what, I just, I really love this channel and I love just like having a place to like vomit my thoughts and my feelings and, um, anyway, if you watched the end, thank you so much, um, oh, why? <laughs> But, um, yeah, uh, give this video a like if you want to. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. And, um, you know, I, I'd like to get a little more cohesive on this channel. But I'm new and I'm still like, trying to figure out, like, what I want to do on YouTube. And um, I know I, like, want to do it because it's, it's just, like, such a fun thing for me. It's just, like, such a fun hobby. And um, but I just don't know which direction. So this channel is just kind of, like, all over the place. But... I'm just, you know, I'm figuring it out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I hope everyone has um, a good day, and I'll see you again on Thursday. Thanks for watching. <laughs>